Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm almost to the pond. Um, first thing I'm gonna throw is just a traditional little drop shot rig here. Uh, tangled up, I don't know how well. You guys can see it, but yeah. There it is, just a drop shot on maybe a six inch leader. And uh, yeah, we'll start out with that. And I think that, I don't know, I wanna throw this in different ways. Texas rigged, Ned rigged. Nico rig. I think it's a pretty versatile bait, so I'd like to see uh, what other ways I can catch some fish on. So, for starters, we'll go good old fashioned drop shot and see what happens. Okay. Alright, this is the first bait that I requested. Mmm, they got a really good scent. I don't know, it's, I've thought it was. Honestly, if I had to tell you what I thought it was going to be, it was probably going to be anise, and it's not. It's got a very oily, very fishy scent, so. Pretty, um, pretty happy with that so far. Okay, so, it is just traditional drop shot rigged, and we'll, uh, see what we can find. Right, so this is a whip tail. Drop shot it. And it looks really good. It's a very oily scent, whatever he has on my... And, uh, I like it. Well, nothing against this color, but I think it's not the right one for what I'm doing right now. That was very unceremonious. Alright. That's more natural looking. Give this one a whirl. There we go. There we go. First fish on the Schwangers. Ho oh. ho. Nice. No, he's not a bad bass either. He's darn near a two pounder. Wow. Yeah, boy. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Check him out, guys. What a studly bass. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth, so that shrimp swanger did its job perfectly. Woohoo. That's the fish number two for a swanger. Anyway, it's a nice bass. I don't know why I wasn't talking much there. I got pretty excited and just kind of shut up and just kind of shut my mouth and started getting some good picks of them. But again, that's on the Schwanger Whiptail Worm. And uh, let's get some weight measurement on this guy. I'm pretty sure he's a little pounder, so. He is 15 inches and 
he is. I know I have to kill him. Sorry, guys. Don't shoot me. He's light enough. It won't hurt him. He is a little over half pound. So, cute. Yeah, the scale's a little short, so it's probably more like 0.8. Whoops. Because when I uh, weigh a pound weight, it comes out to about 0.78. So, very nice. And he's off. Beautiful. All right, guys. So now... I'm going to try the doodad. It's drop shot minnow with a sort of paddle tail kind of deal. It's got some good action, so let's see what happens. Whew. Whew. Got him. And that's a dink on the doodad. That's a fish on every one of the Schwanger baits tonight. So I uh, only got to fish for about an hour. Got three fish, landed all three, and uh, about to head home, so good deal. Whew. Whew. Got him. And that's a dink on the doodad. That's a fish on every one of the Schwanger baits tonight, so I uh, only got to fish for about an hour. Got three fish, landed all three, and uh, about to head home, so good deal. Swanger baits round two. We're today running the gold and white whiptail worm. I got a fish on already. Oh, lost him. What a hook set, you big oaf. Wow, okay, so looks like he really liked that whiptail worm. He ate the bottom half off of it, but. We're just going to fish the stub and see what happens, so. There, I got him. Oh, I dropped him again. That was a horrible hook set. Two for two on dropping bass now. Here's one. Got him. There you go. It's our uh, first fish today on the shortened Schwanger Whiptail. Um, got him drop shotting. I'm about to change up to a wacky rig. I think I'm trying to lip him without hooking myself because he's got it in the bottom lip. Ouch. Okay, well, I guess that that's one way to do it. Man, little ones always just flip and flip and flip. All right. Well, this is my first squeak for the day. He's about nine inches. Um, and again, that's on the Schwanger Whiptail. Even works after the tail's been broken off. That was my fault on a too early hook set. So, one squeak plus one Schwanger Whiptail. Good start to the day. There he goes. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. It's your fish, man. Ah. <laughs> I saw him cruising topwater and cast it to him, and I couldn't believe he took a topwater. There we go, there we go. There's a fish on. All right. Fish number two for Schwanger Baits on the day. Got myself one on the Silver Doodad. So, ouch. Got him. Alright, so, doodad strikes again. Get a cheeky little picture here and get him back in the water. Hunter, Hunter's upset, it's time for him to catch a fish. I think I'll caption that one when, when your swangers as long as your bass and he still smokes it. Oh, there he is. I got him. Whew. 
Woo. Bass number three, the Schwanger. Really tearing it up today. Got to get Hunter to get one on this uh, wacky rig. Should be hot in this front pond. Just got to get on a hot fish. So, all right, we're gonna get a quicker release on this guy. I got Schwanger pictures for days. So, another nice little squeak. Give him a flip. Love it. Forward that time. Mr. Nope. Forward again. Hunter just caught a second one on the wacky rig, and like an idiot, I'm not recording a second time. So, but anyway, we're catching a lot of these little squeaks. They're all about, yeah, nine inches. So, but they're real cute. They're scrappy little buggers. This one, boy, he's had a tough look. Someone got him in his gill. Something got him in his tail. Actually, I think there's a pike in this front pond. But let's go ahead and release him and get Hunter back on his next fish. It's a stud. Whoa. Oh yeah. I think my arm was in the way of the camera for that too. That was nice. He came up like He went airborne. Oh, he did it again. Oh, he did it again. He's not as big as he thought. I don't think that's him. Man, you make me want to do that now. Oh. Wowza. That's a nice one. Let me go get the scale real quick. No, he's about a pound. Well, a little pounder, pound and a halfer. He is six. Uh, eight, mm -hmm, seven. Thirteen. No, he's a little over twelve. Thirteen, round up. Oh, get that. Let's get the release on this guy. There he goes. Another one, a nice one. Think, is that him? No, because the other one just came up right next to it. Just came up and missed that. Oh. What a save. What a save. Hook just popped out last second on this bass, guys. Ooh, oh man. Whoa. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at him. Ooh, choke it. All right, let's get a release on this bass. So he's another 8, 13, 14 incher. Excellent. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just so you guys know, I'm not really affiliated with this company in any way. Uh, the guy gave me a little bit of a deal on the bait so that I could review them, but the entire purpose of this was for me to just make an unbiased review. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with these baits. I don't have really any complaints. They have a phenomenal action in the water, great scent, great hold value for the bass, and I'm just really impressed with them. Honestly, I would say that these are going to be in my top three as far as soft plastics go, so I'm super impressed. The other thing this guy did for me is, if you're interested in these baits, he gave me a code that you can get free shipping on these baits. They're priced really great, so if you're interested, hit him up on Instagram. It's at Schwanger Baits, and I'll put that up here so you guys can see it, and the code is free ship creed review, and uh, that expires pretty soon, so go ahead and jump on that if you're interested in these baits, and... Follow me on Instagram, drop a like, and let me know what you thought about the baits. Alright, thanks guys. More stuff coming your way soon.